Hello, calculus fans. OK, so we're going to do one more integral involving partial fractions. This uh, is going to have a little twist to it. So we're going to integrate 4x to the fourth minus x cubed plus 19x squared minus x plus 8 all over x cubed plus 4x dx. Wow, what a mess. Now, in order for us to actually do a partial fractions decomposition, the first thing we have to have is the degree of the denominator has to be bigger than the degree of the numerator. Now it's not, so we have to do a long division. I'm going to divide x cubed plus 4x into the numerator. All right, so here's all the gory details on the uh, long division. And so we, this time we end up with a remainder. So here's our quotient, the 4x minus 1, but here's a remainder. So this is telling us that the integrand that we started with is equal to 4x minus 1 plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 8. And let's see, where's this plus 8? I think the, I think this did not carry down, so there should be a plus 8 here. plus 8. That's this getting carried down. Okay, so now let's do a partial fractions decomposition on the remainder. So we have to factor the denominator. So that denominator is x cubed plus 4x turns into x times x squared plus 4. So the form of the decomposition is 3x squared plus 3x plus 8 all over x times x squared plus 4 has to equal a over x plus bx plus c over x squared plus 4. We can use heavy side cover up to calculate a. All right, go ahead, take a moment now to try to use heavy side to figure out what a is. Go ahead, pause the video. a is going to be equal to 2. That's if you use heavy side to calculate A. Now, the bad news is heavy side is not going to help us to calculate B and C. Cover up method cannot be used to solve for the constants in an irreducible quadratic term. So, what would we do at this point? So, we're going to take the thing that we're trying to decompose, we'll put the A in. So 3x squared plus 3x plus 8 over x times x squared plus 4 is equal to 2 over x plus bx plus c over x squared plus 4. So I'd like to multiply through by x times x plus x squared plus 4. Let's, let's see what we get. Well, no fractions anymore. So we get 3x squared plus 3x plus 8 is equal to 2 times x squared plus 4 plus bx plus c times x. Multiplying everything out, so on the right-hand side, we'll have 2x squared plus 8 plus bx squared plus cx. We'll gather by terms, so 2 plus b times x squared, right, because there's a 2x squared and a bx squared. We also have a cx, and we have an 8. Okay. That tells us that 2 plus b is equal to 3, because we match up the coefficients. And even easier, c is equal to 3. So that gives us b. So b is equal to 1. OK, so let's see what we got. We have our decomposition. And remember, this was just for the remainder portion. So we've done our partial fractions decomposition after having done long division. We haven't even done any calculus yet. Okay, so remember, this was just the remainder. All right, now finally, long day's journey into night, we're finally ready to evaluate the integral. So remember that we had the quotient after doing the long division, and then the rest of it, we had to do a partial fractions decomposition. And then I'm even going to break the x plus 3 over x squared plus 4 into two separate pieces because I want to evaluate those integrals separately. OK. This is our final answer. 
I did everything straight away. Okay, so these two are easy. This one's not too bad. And then here, what happened to evaluate this integral? Well, I did a substitution in my head by substituting for x squared plus 4. Where did the 1 half come from? Well, think about your du. And then the last piece, an antiderivative of this, this is one I want you to know. This is on our list of antiderivatives that we just need to know. If you're not sure about some of these pieces, you may have to make some substitutions to see how they work out. Okay, that's all for now.